Thanks for watching and have a good night. And finally tonight, we recognize these are strange times, but we want to bring you this commitment we've been talking about. Something good every day. And there's so much good. So tonight, a 10 News classic that is positively schwal. In many ways, Ron Breeden is not unlike most young bachelors who live alone. He's not too good at washing dishes, but he keeps a fairly neat house. That house is a small log home on what the Indians used to call Hollow Mountain. Ron built the house with the help of some friends. The fact that he's legally blind doesn't seem to matter. After returning from college, he decided to live in the mountains and spend his time writing music about the life he loves so much. Together with his brother Sam, a school teacher in nearby Sevierville, Ron has written dozens of songs, some of which they've recorded on an album. Ron and Sam enjoy nothing better than hearing the music that means so much to them on the radio. Ron says he writes to preserve his mountain heritage. A lot of people in the past have tried to enculturate the folks in this area into Midwestern culture type, you know, like talking like Johnny Carson and, and behaving like uh, somebody from a, some other part of the country. But, you know, the people around here, they have a, there's a great deal of value in this culture, I think. originally played in a dance band or a, a blues band in Nashville and uh, when we went to Johnson City uh, well there wasn't a lot of demand for saxophones so we traded in our two saxes on a couple of Japanese guitars and here we are. <laughs> quietness of his mountain, Ron Breeden will continue to tell the world about his culture through his songs. Ken Schwalt, Action 10 News. And that is our time. Thank you so much.